Hey, this is Dan here for Bluecast Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a blue screen tutorial. Um, it's going to be based off the video on YouTube called Blue Screen Test Deserted Soldier 2. So I'll just play that real quick so you kind of have an idea of what we're trying to make. <laughs> is the idea. Um, it's not going to be just a blue screen slash chroma key tutorial. Um, it's going to be a lot more than that. As you can see, there's all sorts of things going on here. So, um, yeah, we'll start. So go into After Effects and get your blue screen or green screen, I guess. Get your footage. And um, first thing to do is key out the background. So we're going to be using key light. So drag that in. Um, the color. I like to use screen matte. That kind of gives you a better idea of what's actually keyed out and not. So zoom in here. There's some stuff at the bottom. So really just kind of start messing with the parameters. Is that five? Mm, three maybe. Clip the black, clip the white. So if you've never done um, chroma keying before, what this is showing basically everything that's white is going to be not transparent, and everything that's black is transparent. So we want the figure to be completely white and the background to be completely black. So this is looking pretty good. Um, I'm not going to make it perfect right now. You now let's go back touch it up if you need to but that looks pretty good um, then obviously we need to get rid of all this white so we'll go to the pen tool and just draw uh, draw a mask around our soldier so now it looks like that and then you can switch back to final result to see what it actually looks like so um next thing to do would be to hit M, go to the mask path, hit the stopwatch button to keyframe this because we have to rotoscope a little bit because the soldier doesn't stay inside of the mask. So just go through and change it as much as you can. Ideally you'd have better footage than this to work with. This wasn't the best, but just go through and try to do it the best that you can. I'm not going to do it perfectly right now. I'm going to let you do that cuz there's lots of stuff to a lot of stuff to cover and don't want this tutorial to be like 20 minutes although I'm sure it will be. So, once you have all of your footage matted like this, we're going to export it or render it with the alpha so that we it's easier to work with because we're going to be doing a lot of compositing on it and if it's not um, rendered out and it's just going through key light it's going to get really really slow so we're going to go to composition add to render queue in the output module hit the little arrow and select um, lossless with alpha and basically that's just going to set it up for you so that it's rendering um, just the alpha, well, the RBG and the alpha. So then save it somewhere and render. Alright, so here is the footage all rendered out and it is looking pretty good. So if you just toggle this alpha switch, you can see that it's all rendered with the alpha. And here you can see it's not really perfect, there's still some stuff on the edges. Um, basically all the imperfections we're going to hide later with a letter box so you can just leave that for now but like I said ideally you'd have better footage that would look nicer than this. Alright so the first step is going to be creating our background. So I have this field picture here which on its own is pretty neat I'd say. So we're going to drop that in the background and the 
first thing we're going to do is create a little depth of field because we don't want the background to be all sharp and the foreground to be all sharp. So we're going to blend it a little bit. So we're going to duplicate it. That's Control D. We're going to take the second layer, take the mask tool, and this doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of make a rough mask around where the foreground and background separate. So say around here. So this is going to be our foreground and this is going to be our background. So go to the effects, find blur, I'm just going to use a simple box blur, drop it into that, increase the radius, not a ton but enough to make it look like it's in the background, maybe three. Then hit MM, find the feather properties, and feather it out so that it doesn't look so harsh. And that way, we have a little more um, depth of field. All right, next thing to do is create some atmosphere because it looks kind of dusty in the background plate and doesn't fit very well with our foreground character. So we're going to go to Atmosphere, add this in, and this is um, off of Andrew Kramer's um, Action Essentials. So we'll add one, and we'll put this behind our soldier, and that's way too harsh, so we're going to drop the opacity to maybe... maybe 27 or so that way there's a little bit of dust and then so that's going to be behind the soldier and we're going to make another one to put on top of our soldier and we'll drop the opacity even more to say 15 so now we have got a little bit of dust but also where he's walking we're going to want kind of a dust trail so there's another one called Dust Wave. This is also in Action Essentials 2. We're going to put that um, above that. And this is just kind of a trail of dust. So scale it up and position it near the feet. Alright. See how that looks? Pretty good. Maybe move it over a little bit so that it starts while he's walking. Alright, so that's pretty good as far as the dust. Now, as you can tell, obviously our soldier does not look like he's in the shot at all. So, we're going to be using a technique called light wrap, which basically takes the background and wraps it around the edges of your um, keyed out footage and so it makes it blend a little bit better and makes it look like it's more there and I can't explain it super well but I'll put this link in the description this is a nice article about the light wrap and there's plugins you can buy for this but I found this technique to be quite useful um, you can watch his video he explains in depth but basically what it's going to do is add kind of a soft edge to our character so he looks like he's fitting in a little better. So we'll start, select our soldier. First thing we're going to add is set channels. There it is. Put it on the alpha soldier and we're going to put it on our field because that's our background layer. So set the red, blue, and green to our background layer. And this is all going to look really horrible until it's all done. So, next thing we're going to do is change channel blur. Drop that on. Set the alpha to about 20. And the other three to about 10 or so. And then hit repeat edge pixels. And the next effect is going to be levels and make sure you select the one levels individual controls scroll down to the alpha and then switch these two parameters so the one that's at zero set to 255 and what 255 set to zero 